It's the stream of moisture that's just going to continue all morning long here in our area. Now notice when you head farther northwest, there's a pretty sharp cutoff where the rain comes to an end. And with everything shifting eastward today, eventually that cutoff area of the rain will reach the Houston area. We start to see it tapering off midday and probably by the afternoon, most of us are back to dry weather. We've got this low in the Gulf that's helping to churn up a lot of the rain that we see around here now, but this is shifting pretty quickly to the east. You can see by this afternoon, a lot of this is east of the Mississippi. Again, we've got the clouds kind of lingering today, but a lot of the rain this afternoon will be gone and then clouds exit tomorrow. A little low here, which is the remnants of Hurricane Lydia may uh, get kind of close to the Texas coast, but I think stays far enough away to where we don't get any rain from it. So we should be dry Thursday. We're going to be dry and really warm Friday before this front gets in. I think this will be a Friday evening arrival of the cold front. So that's when our temperatures start going down. Winds will get a little bit breezy behind that front as well. Our rain chance for today again, pretty high through the morning hours, tapering off late day, and we're totally done with rain by the end of the day today. There's a look at our all over the place high temperatures, though. Big climb Thursday, Friday, and then knocked back down with that front coming through Friday night. And for the weekend, we've got that nice fall air on the way. Check out the high temperatures this weekend in the 70s. The lows will get back down into the 50s. And from there, it's a pretty long stretch of nice fall-like weather as we go through next week.